M. Night, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm a big fan. I uh, love the movie Old, so good. I mean, this is a psychological thriller. It's all about time and aging. And I was wondering, when you first came up with the idea, was it just obvious to you this would make a great horror because we're all scared of aging. When we become adults anyway, so anyway we're scared of the wrinkles, we're all scared of dying. There's, there's so much to it that's actually terrifying. <laughs> yeah, you know, this idea of what are we scared of? You know, we're scared of being alone or we're scared of, you know, you know, uh, you know, dying. I think this. So, you know, when I when I I guess when I thought about Sixth Sense and 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 this movie, these are kind of uh, different facets of the same fear that we're that we're scared of dying. And 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 one is ghosts, and one is aging extremely fast, and what happens to us, and uh, the kind of horror of it going so fast that you have no control, and we get to see it really quickly. Yeah, it did feel like so. I thought that this is something not only that I'm feeling, but that you're feeling that everybody would feel this in every country. So yeah, I make I'm making a movie like this. Did it make you after filming it? appreciate the moment you know we're all told to live in the present like and even coming out of this movie i wasn't expecting it i was kind of like geez i really should be appreciating i went for a swim in the sea i should be delighted with the present has it changed you at all kind of going through the process of making this movie it has it has it was a kind of you know for all of us i think probably an aspiration and given the times and that that the damn phone in our pocket that can go anywhere there's a feeling that uh being present is this rare thing that it's very hard to do but it is, it is the, no matter how fast time is going, that, that is the, the answer to it, to it. And um, I did have that, you know, feeling the way we shot that movie, we had to shoot it during the pandemic on this beach in, in Dominican Republic. And it just so happened there was no cell reception there. And, you know, so, and you're out on a beach all day. So for months we were, we were just us in nature and making this movie and very present and, and probably, will be the experience, if not, you know, the most most indelible experience of my career of making, because I was, had to be so present uh, yeah. there out on that, on that uh, you know, in looking at the, the water and being there on that beach. You had a lot thrown at you. I mean, the pandemic, but I believe there was a hurricane that came and destroyed one of your sets as well. Are these things like, did you just do some deep breath, speaking of <laughs> living in the present meditation and just move on? Or how did you cope? Oh, you know, the other thing is these are small movies. This is not these and I fund them. So this was this was like your, you know, imagine you put your house up and you 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 make a movie and a hurricane comes and destroys your set. This is not a good day. That's not that's not a, this is bad <laughs> stuff, man. And, and but you're so committed to you. You're so all in at this point that you you keep on going. I did feel like, man, this could end up in some documentary where I'm just going to be this cautionary tale of. You know what happened tonight when he made all oh, look what happened all these things happen and then you know he never got to finish and, and now he has no money and look what happened <laughs> this is this is why you shouldn't do these things that was definitely in my head but um we we just got kept on going we kept on rehearsing and little by little you know luck went our way first went really against us nature went again then it went went our way we had okay. like 38 days straight of good weather it was incredible and you mentioned the connection of death between this film and The Sixth Sense. I mean, Sixth Sense was a game changer for everything. You got Oscar nominations, Royal Acclaim. It's, a, it's an iconic film. How do you feel when you look back? And does it feel like 22 years ago? Because it, it, I feel old <laughs> singing to this movie when I think I've been blown away in the cinema to, done that long ago. I can't believe it's that long. You know, it's both, it feels like a million years ago and it feels very close, if that makes any sense. You know, okay. I, I, you know, these movies are, I, the, the, the nature of making movies, especially the way I make them, it's like, they reference movie making like a circus. You just go p pitch up the tent, do the circus and go on to the next town. And I feel that way, you know, there's a whole new group of actors and crew members, each movie and the experience is so different to, to think about all those different stories. I mean, I feel super grateful that from that moment when Sixth Sense came into the movie theaters around the world to today, when old is gonna open this weekend around the world, I mean, I mean, I can't be any any luckier, you know, like going on a third generation here of people that are coming to see m my movies. And I am, dude, I, you know, seriously, I can't I can't explain how lucky I feel. <laughs> well, we feel lucky to have the movies. Thanks so much. Em. Keep making them. Thanks, buddy. Take care. Thanks for having me. Take care. Bye bye.